Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Don's Lawns. In today's video we're going to be pulling some weeds from my Bermuda section that I seeded. It's been 28 days since seeding and I'm tired of looking at weeds. So like I said, it's been 28 days since seeding and I'm gonna show you a little before and after and some progress shots right now. So in today's video, we're going to pull these weeds and we are going to identify some of them. I'll try my best to identify most of them, but if I get some of them wrong, uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think they are. I'd like to go ahead and identify some of the most common weeds I found in my Bermuda plot. First off, we'll start with some of the broadleaf weeds. I found quite a bit of this weed, which you might be able to tell it looks kind of like a curly dock, maybe. I think that might be curly dock. It's very young, obviously, it's only been 28 days since seeding so a lot of the weeds are in their juvenile young infant stages you know they're not fully developed they haven't really gone to seed yet so identification is a little bit harder but i think that one is curly dock the next one that i'll identify is this guy a lot of people know him as spotted spurge it's a crack weed pretty much fills up all of your cracks in your driveway your sidewalk those are really fun. 
Yeah. The next one that we will identify today for you that I found quite a bit of is a thistle. It's a thistle type. Might be a spiky thistle or sow thistle, but thistle. Another broadleaf weed that we're going to identify that I found a bit of is oxalis or yellow wood sorrel. It's from the oxalis family. Looks like a clover. Now this one I have had growing underneath one of my palms for quite a while. I saw it during the winter season and I just kind of left it alone. I, I kind of wanted to see what it would look like and it is a type of celery I believe. Uh, what I found online at my local agricultural extension office was that this was a form of celery. Pretty interesting. This is about as, you know, a good 12 inches or so of wild celery. It's got these little tiny little itty bitty flowers there. Very fine little leaves. So that's pretty much all of the broadleaf weeds that I found in my lawn. Let's get to the grasses. So the grasses that I found in my lawn, I did find a couple of spots of smooth crabgrass, but they were so short that I pulled them and I can't find them in my bucket because my bucket's so full of other weeds. But smooth crabgrass was found today. Quite a bit of rescue grass. I posted a picture on Instagram the other day and on Facebook and on Twitter of the stages of rescue grass from like one inch to seeding and uh, this is rescue grass. And for those of you who may not know, my Bermuda plot used to be St. Augustine and it was thick and luscious and I spent you know a couple months tearing it up and dethatching it and just doing weird crazy stuff to try to see what would happen and uh, apparently quite a bit of St. Augustine has held on. Uh, it's weird. It's like it just created its own mother plants. So St. Augustine really only lives off of stolen supposedly but whenever I went and did my long leveling which you can find a video for that linked up above that lawn leveling, I buried stolons essentially under the dirt that I brought in and it looks like some pieces of St. Augustine have survived. This is St. Augustine. Don't get it twisted. And I mean, it just drove new roots off of these little bits of material that were still alive holding on and I guess the starter fert combined with the excessive watering it survived so there is some St. Augustine still in there not a whole lot I pulled quite a bit out but that's something this is going to be pretty easy to identify in a field of Bermuda so I'm gonna have an easy time finding these and pulling these guys they're all relatively you know three inches four inches long right now so they'll be pretty easy to find and pull at the moment. And yellow nut sedge, which I did not pull out because we all know that if you remove your nut sedge, for some reason, it spreads like crazy. But I have something in store for that that I learned from the Aussie lawn. I'm gonna try it out and give you guys a little review on that as well. So stay tuned for that. So if you feel unsure about identifying any of the weeds that I've shown today or you've, you've got some in your lawn that you're not sure about, always look up your local agricultural extension office. In Texas, we typically use the Texas A&M Extension Office. They've got a website that identifies a lot of the most common turf weeds in the, our state. So I've got that linked down below in the description. Feel free to check that link out along with the other links I have down below. So those are the most common weeds that I found in today's pulling of the Bermuda lawn. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, hit that like button, 
tap subscribe down below, and I hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck in the lawn.